Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. I am Bharat. I am dealing with the second lecture on uh, general awareness of 100 topics friends. In this video we are going to see the early Vedic period of ancient history friends. If you, if you come to know there is a Vedic period is from 1500 BC to 600 BC friends whereas this Vedic era is divided into early Vedic period and later Vedic period friends whereas the early Vedic period is from 1500 to 1000 BC from 1000 BC to 600 BC it is of later Vedic period. In this video we are going to see only the early Vedic period. In the next video we are going to see the later Vedic period and the differences between these two periods friends. It is of very very important period of Indian history friends. That's what I have said is early Vedic period and later Vedic period friends. It's of 1500 to 1000 BC. In BC that is uh, before Christ, the uh, years will come down friends that is from 1000 to it comes down to 0 from 0 it should start from 1, 2, 3, 4 that is of AD friends okay so at the start in the beginning of the early Vedic period how the people that is the migration has ca happened what is the tribal conflicts what is the materialistic life of the people tribal polity tribe and family social divisions and the Rig Vedic gods all these topics we are going to see in this early Vedic period so origin it is said that it has come from the above friends it has origin the people who has come from the Siberia or the present day Russia the people has come down theories has saying that the people has come down from Russia some theories says that they, these people have come from Central Asia but we don't know friends these are the people has come from the above that is from the northernmost of the hemisphere to India friends and they felt and they named themselves as Aryans Aryans means of high birth so this is the origin of the people who has come to india friends and as i've said earlier aryans means the high birth friends some theory says that they have come from central asia and usually there is already indigenous people are there in india friends and these people these aryans came and fought with the Dasas or Dasyas Dasyas and these are the indigenous people these people fought with these indigenous people and they thrown away these uh, Dasyas and captured the land friends and they settled in Saptasindhu region what is Saptasindhu region we will see this this is the Sapta Sindhu region friends in this you can see that the rivers Sutudri, Vipas, Purushni, Askani, Vistara, Sindhu, Kurram, Kuba and we will see what is the these are the Rig Vedic names of the rivers friends we will see the corresponding modern names and this is a potential question that is asked in the exam friends Sindhu means present day Indus friends. Vitastha, Zilam, Askini, China, Purushni, Purushni, Ravi, Vipasa, Bias, Satudri, Sutlaj, Gomati, Gumal, Krumu, Kurram, Gagar is Gagar itself, Suvat, Suvastu, Swat, Kuba means Kabul, Nanditara means Saraswati, Sadanira means Gandak, Gumal means Gomati friends. So these are the present day river names. These are the Rig Vedic literated names of the rivers where these Aryans have settled friends. As I have said earlier in the uh, 
Indus Valley Civilization. The civilization exists on the river banks, friends, because the river is the way of life for the mankind. Here also we can see that in the at the banks and the nearby the banks of the rivers, these Aryans have been settled, friends. What is the economy? They have mixed economy, friends. Mixed economy. Mixed economy in the sense there are two types of main source of income one is pastoral pastoral is nothing but cattle rearing friends and most of them most of the audience have given more more importance to the cattle rearing and the secondary economy is agriculture and most of the times this agriculture is done to cultivate the fodder to feed this cattle friends so i say that uh, the the theory says that pastoralism is the main economy of the Aryans friends and they used to wage war for the cows there used to be gramas that is the villages or the regions and if there is war between village and village it is called sangrama and mostly they did for Gavisti. Gavisti means in search of or to get cows, to yearn cows or to capture cows, they used to wage wars in those days. They, Aryans in, in early Vedic period used to wage wars to capture more and more cows rather than lands or regions and this is called Gavisti friends. And measure of time it is called Goduli and measure of distance it is called gov u t friends you can see here measure of time it is called goduli and measure of distance in early with the gov u t friends and if you come to know that what is the materialistic life and materialistic they know cha horses they build chariots and they have uh, vessels made of bronze and they have wheel wheel was there at the time of Harappa and Mohanjadaro itself, friends, in the Indus Valley civilization itself, they have these wheels, friends. And the cultivated land is known as Kshetra. The plowing is called Krishi. And the plow they used, it is called Langla. And the plow share, it is called Fala, friends. The a, a, uh, a metal is known, or the metallurgy that is known as bronze. Bronze, it is called Ajas. Wars were fought for the cows and the the war it is called Gavisti. I have explained earlier, friends. They used iron. They know they know how to make iron, friends. They used metals made of iron. And you can see the archaeological findings, friends. Tribal polity. And the polity is the system is in such a way that there is a Rajan or a chief and they have four communities friends or you can say four assemblies and Sabha, Samiti, Vidata and Gana friends. Here you can see the Purohit is the religious head or the priest, Senani, the army chief and Vrajapati or Prajapati, the leader of the people friends and you can see the priest, the army head and the leader. Three of them are equal in the authority and they are called Rajan or Chief Friends. And they have Sabhas, Samitis, Vidata and Gana Friends. Okay. The tribe and the family. The society was divided into priest, warriors and commoners Friends. There used to be priests who direct the people and there are warriors who go in search of cows and the remaining people were cattle rearing people and they are called commoners friends a family is commonly patriarchal in nature that is headed by father and i i would like to throw some importance on women and how they treat women in the society so women attended assemblies that is sabhas and samitis a woman can attend and address the people in the sabhas and samitis friends so they also gave the right to offer sacrifices along with their husbands friends 
and they can take up profession of their choice and they have also widow remarriages system friends you can see uh, the women are given importance and they have almost equal rights with men in the early vedic period and there are no signs of child marriages and there is no si sign of child marriages in the early vedic period friends and social division social division is a very interesting topic in vedic period friends and in early vedic period the varna system is started which is solely based on the profession friends it's solely based on the profession if an individual is taken up teaching and priesthood he is called brahmin if a if a person has taken up as a warrior as a ruler or an administrator he is called a kshatriya if a man or a woman a take up a banking or merchant or lending kind of business they are called vaishya if an a person or a woman a, a person a take up arts arts and crafts and then some labor work they are called as sudras friends so varna system is solely based on a profession in one family there might have many varnas friends in year i am talking about only early vedic period you should remember early vedic period but eventually in later vedic period the meaning of varna system is completely changed and we will discuss this in the next video i would like to show what happened in early vedic how the varna system has started in early vedic period in a family for an example i will take in a family if the father has taken up if the father has taken up at uh, of uh, he if he is the head of the tribe and he is called kshatriya as a head of the tribe in the sense he is the leader he is a he is a administrator and he is called kshatriya if his wife that is the mother of that home is a teacher then she is called brahmin she is called brahmin if their son is has taken up merchant merchant works or a lending and lending money kind of business and he is he is a banker then he is called a vaishya if the daughter is an art she has taken some arts then she is called a shudra friends so varna is just a categorization of the profession not a social status of a family and it is not hereditary friends it is not hereditary the varna system is solely based on the profession here we can see the some of the vedic gods early vedic gods and you can see uh, the names of the early vedic gods dyasputra is called clear sky mitra it is called solar god varuna he is called nature of god or god of water and indra he indra is a very very important god in rigveda and he is called as breaker of forts ashwini or ashwin uh, god of youth and mortality and health surya the surya is a god it's addressed like surya is the god who comes on rides on the chariots which was pulled by seven horses so god riding seven horsed chariot savitri is a god of light agni and vayu are god of fire and winds yama is god of death and usha is god of dawn friends so these are some of the gods and prominent gods in rigveda friends usually uh, the importance the most important god was indra you should remember this which is very very important indra is the most important god and he is named after the breaker of forts usually the importance has come uh, the the importance is grown for indra because these people go in search of war in search of cows and go for wars before going to wars they used to worship indra friends so while worshiping indra they have put forth indra in a good good position or a best position that they have dedicated almost 250 hymns hymns for agni god they have given 200 hymns friends so rest of the gods have got very very less hymns by this literature in the vedic literature 
the uh, by the amount of hymns and uh, verses they have given for the indra is more when compared to the other gods by then we can come to know that indra god is more prominent among the early vedic gods friends and soma is one of the uh, god of a uh, drink friends okay maruts is personified storm god there were female divinities like aditi and usha and mostly they are uh, they are representing dawn mode of worship is by sacrificing and recitation of prayers friends there is no idol worship no no idol worship friends no idol worship you should remember they have just worship the nature friends and most of the time they did not worship for spiritual upliftment or for their ending of miseries or uh, they mainly worshiped for their children their cattle for the sake of health food and materialistic needs friends they didn't do yagas to get away from the bad fate or something like that but they did it for the seeking of their materialistic life and good health and wealth and more victories in their wars friends okay so just uh, just i want to do a recap for early vedic period they are the uh, aryans they are the aryans who come from central india or from the upper part of the northern hemisphere and mainly they are pastoral in nature pastoral in the sense cattle rearing cattle rearing and cattle safe guarding friends okay and they also done agriculture more mostly for the sake of fodder or the food for the cattle friends women has their rights there is no child marriages varna system is just a profession identity of the profession of individual basis and it is not a social discrimination and it is an egalitarian society and they worshiped gods of nature there is no idol worship they used iron and bronze metals for their wars and for the sake of plowing and this period uh, this period they have uh, some pottery is also friends which is of grey okay friends all this is from the early vedic period and don't miss the next video of later vedic period friends here how the social system has been changed how the women's rights have been taken away how the varna system has changed very badly and how the professions of a same profession people of same profession got together and they felt that they are superior how they downtrodden the other professional people uh, people of other professions we will going to we are going to see the, in the later vedic period and we are going to see the later nature of vedic period friends which is very very important there are there are some veda supaveda upanishads epics samhita smriti shrutis everything i am going to discuss in the next video friends so don't miss the next video thank you for hearing